Joining us on Fiesta Friday, I'm Jason Silas. Glad you are joining us and glad, hopefully, that you are staying dry. Of course, coming off the storm a couple days ago. we got a good show for you today. We are going to show you how to have a wonderful staycation thanks to our friends at the Leo Palace. And we are going to preview the Miss Pacificana pageant. That is coming up later on in the show. But August, as you know, is Child Support Awareness Month and it being the first day of August today. We are going to bring in, of course, the Attorney General of our island, Leonardo Rapatis, and Nick Toft, who is the Child Support Director down at that agency. Now a year on the job, I might add. That's correct, yes. Okay, so let, let's get started with that, Nick. How has the uh, job been? What are some of the challenges that you've experienced working with the local community relative to child support? Uh, some of the challenges have been uh, trying to adapt the, the systems that we had to a more modern society. Uh, these days you have everybody's on the internet, everybody has smartphones, things like that. And it seems like uh, child support's kind of in the past. We have you know, a computer system from the, the 80s that we're dealing with, older phone systems that we're trying to upgrade. And so it's been a challenge to kind of identify what would help us the most uh, and kind of target those things as to how we want to improve our system to improve customer service. Is this reaching out to parents who may be delinquent with their payments as well as remitting the payments themselves? It, it's all sorts of things. That's part of it as well. Uh, one of the things we're hoping to roll out within the next month or so uh, is a pay online feature. Mm. Uh, this has been something that's been in the works for a year. It takes a while to get going. Mm. Uh, just all the red tape you have to go through. Uh, but you know, we're trying to make it easier for people to to make payments and then receive them. So excellent. All right, we'll, we'll look forward to talking to you as that, as that continues to mature. Well, yeah. Mr. Attorney General, during your time in office and everything, this has been one of the hallmarks of your plan to not only streamline um, you know, legal services within the government and also, but, but also to improve upon you know, um, what came before. So in self-assessment, well, all, all of the, how, how have you done? Uh, we've been, we've been uh, attempting to improve services in all, all of the divisions. And child support, since this is Child Support uh, Awareness Month, um, I think uh, child support is, is one of those areas that we have um, we've grown, grown and ha and have improved, and we still continue to do that. Uh, we're uh, in the middle middle parts of uh, getting our new computer system online. So what Nick, Nick was talking about, and uh, you had mentioned uh, the remitting and, and collecting of, of the fees, um, all of that is is going to be. Uh, much more streamlined, mm -hmm. easier uh, for the the consumer, and and what it is, it's it, it's like re recycling. You know, it's a good idea, uh, but until you make it easier for the the end user, um, they're not going to really get involved. But we started early on when uh, we we uh, worked on the uh, uh, electronic deposits. When that was that became required, and electronic transfers and so forth. So that's that's helped us with uh, some of the metrics that uh, that we work with the feds on on the, the collections and uh, and all the different sorts of things that we have to keep track on. And that that's what it's also going to do. Not only will it allow us to have better contact and better uh, cons uh, customer service, but it's also going to uh, give us a better um, uh, accountability to the feds who. Uh, who fund approximately two thirds of our program? Absolutely. Well, and we say that all the time here at KUAM. You know, like when we launch projects. I mean, the technical engineering is a challenge in and of itself, and that that's you know, certain roadblocks you have to do with that. But the social engineering and getting people to actually implement those way more difficult. Right. Right. I mean, we, we don't want to fall behind. We we're already behind as far as the uh, the computer system, but and but we're moving forward. Okay. We're moving forward. It's something that we recognize and we int we intend to to move further forward with. Well, I remember last year, you know, like when the three of us, we sat here and, you know, I was asking you gentlemen about, you know, um, what was the major theme of, you know, last year's Child right. Support Awareness Month. And you were kind of saying reinforcing in the minds of Guamanians and citizens that, you know, some of the penalties that are, you know, that may follow them. Because, I mean, they're, they're real serious, um, you know, fines that people face and, you know, like real serious punishments that people ensue. Is there a theme this year that you're really trying to get across or a message that you're trying to marshal in the minds of people who may be delinquent? Well, we're, we're still trying to make sure that, that people understand that there are consequences to falling behind and, and having arrears. Because remember, ultimately, it's for the child. It's for the child who uh, the money is for. Uh, this year's theme is um, Project Future, Love, Support, and Stability for Our Children. And it's uh, essentially that's kind of the, the theme that that's that uh, it's kind of what it's happening throughout the nation it's uh, um, we need to make sure that, that the child is, is taken care of and in order to do that we not only want to provide money and resources to the child through the payments but we also want to provide some emotional stability for the child too because 
over the, the last several years, it, there's been a change where we, we need to involve the non-custodial parent, the one who is making the child support payments. They need to be involved because we have said time and time and again, and we, we want to reinforce this, that time and time again, when you have, when you have both parents involved in the child's upbringing, you're going to have a, a much um, a more balanced, much more a better child, a th child that's going to thrive and become a uh, much more mature adult. And, 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 and children that we don't want to go into to areas like DYA and, and things like, you know, sure. places like that, and then grow up into uh, um, non-contributing uh, adults. And they're, they're going to thrive, get much better, having the love and support of both parents, regardless of the relationship between the, the parents. And that could be the worst relationship ever, but the child doesn't need to see that. But they do need to see that both parents are loving this child and supporting this child. Okay, well, we do have to go to commercial break, but uh, where can people contact you if they have more information or if they'd like to uh, perhaps get involved or, you know, like find out more? Uh, phone number is 475-3360 or on the net at www.guamcse.net. All right, well, thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. All right, stay tuned because we will be back. Yes, Friday continues right after this.